Can I just start off by uh, paying my respects to the traditional custodians of the land, the Eora people, because we know we're talking about immigration today, migration, but uh, I think it's important that we remember the people that were here before us. I was born in East Timor and uh, we left East Timor when I was about eight. My father migrated from Lebanon when he was quite young, he was about eight or nine. Funnily enough, I come from England, but uh, my background is Irish. My parents are Italian. From Syria via, via Europe. I was actually born in El Salvador. My family background is Lebanese. I came from Vietnam. Zimbabwe is actually the country. Born and bred in Mauritius. I come from Cambodia. Been here for uh, 32 years. My grandfather came out first to Brisbane to work on the sugar canes to try and settle and, and save up some money to send back to, to my grandmother. My father was completely against it. He didn't want me to go. You've just finished university. Why you want to leave and go? And he said, I'm not going to give you a penny, not even a penny. And then one day I was in a movie cinema in Vienna and there was some advertisement came up about Australia and the land of opportunity. I was only nine and I wasn't aware that there was a war and uh, a lot of our family members had been killed and kidnapped and never seen again and they just um, decided that we needed to seek refuge somewhere else. They got a, a war time so um, 79 we had opportunity to um, escape from our country political reasons as well. He had written um, an expression in one of his books and some people in Egypt actually took it the wrong way and they put a bouncy on his head. The, the communist regime, after they took over the south of Vietnam, they, um, they did, did not lie the, um, the Jesuits. They didn't look at me as a citizen. He got a telegram from the embassy saying, you've been accepted, we've got you a ticket to Australia. My dad came out when he was about 23 with a suitcase to try and make a better life. Okay. On the boat, um, I encounter the, um, the crowdedness. It was packed with people, the heat. Walking through um, jungle and um, uh, thick forests. And then uh, I had nothing to eat or to drink during three days and three nights. Most of them are dying on the way. Um, we, we nearly lost our lives, but um, luckily, probably, uh, we, we were saved by a, a miracle. My first memories of Australia, I think, uh, were a little bit cloudy by the beer. I arrived in uh, the camp. For the first time, I saw the um, remote control from the TV for the first time. <laughs> I was so amazed. The memory that I have being in school was the September 11 attacks at that time. On the train station, they they written Asian, I'll go back home. It was, a, it, was, it was pretty hard because, you know, you had, didn't have many friends and you had to sort of start again. And I remember coming into school and um, being bullied because I was Lebanese. Uh, not many people understand their cultural differences, yeah. But now it's come different culture in one nation. So I was the only black person in the, <laughs> in the compartment. <laughs> And then I put my hand onto that uh, pole, and then, um, and then all of a sudden I realized there was all these white hands <laughs> around my hand, <laughs> and my hand was the only black hand. And then I went, ah, this was like a, a shock to me, because <laughs> I'd never been in such a, a, an environment. And uh, as time went on, I tended to be kind of like blind to all this, and I'm now color blind. <laughs> and I was cycling along through the city and I got lost. And there was a judge and he had his uh, ermine coat on and the wig and everything. I said, excuse me, Your Honour, do you know the way to uh, so-and-so street? And he said, oh yeah, mate, you go down there and you turn. And I thought, yeah, this is great. This is a, a truly egalitarian society where anybody can, uh, can succeed. My name is Rana. I'm a registered nurse working in mental health. And my name is Victor. I'm a registered nurse as well. My name is Paula Campos and I'm a psychologist. My name's Glenn and I'm a mental health nurse. Peter Kamnui, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a social worker. Uh, my name is Vikash and I'm working as a registered nurse. I'm Veronica, I'm also an occupational therapist. Yeah, my name is Elijah, I'm a registered nurse. Henry and I work as a mental promotion worker. Sean and I'm a clinical psychologist. I'm Amanda, I'm an occupational therapist and I currently work in a community mental health team.